Game Reveal Resident Evil Revelation 2 plus DLC with Moira and Natalia's story. Story, it's very simple. Claire was kidnapped again with Barry's daughter, Moira, and you have to fight our way through a scenario like Chernobyl. Although weak, the story is better than Resident Evil Revelations 1 with no real nice plot twist. It's getting closer. There's something ahead. Be careful. There's like in Resident ahead. Evil Be Revelations careful. 1, you have to find items which are hidden in the scenario using your friends, I mean using your partner. The ammunition is very scarce. Items are very scarce. And yes, you can upgrade your character, you can upgrade your weaponry and so on. As you advance in the game, you get to know what happened to this island and what happened to the character. Some parts of the game you'll be playing with Barry and in some other parts you'll be playing with Claire. Graphic. The graphics are good, although my computer is not very powerful, you can see lots of details. Maybe you want to adjust brightness because the game is very dark, but the colors are very beautiful, the characters are very well detailed, and not only the main characters, but the monsters. One thing that I think is not interesting in this game, apart from the story, is the scenario. The scenario seems to be very unfinished. Of course, you'll be walking to abandoned places, abandoned facilities, prisons, and also slums. But the scenario is very, very repetitive and adds nothing to the story. Check out this animation, this movie is very interesting, full of shades, colors, and the characters are very beautiful as I told before. Scary. I can't stand her. Who? The woman here with Wesker? That is Wesker. Alex Wesker. Two Weskers? You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> So you finally came. I knew you would. Natalia. So. Well, the sound is good. I wouldn't say this soundtrack is original. It seems like you're playing Resident Evil 4, but the voice acting is very good. So, no complaints about this sound. Moira, look. 
Someone left a message. It says, head for the factory. And on a scale of bullshit to believable? Neil wrote this. It's legit. Oh yeah, this game has a serious issue in my humble opinion. The translation. The translation is awful. Sometimes it's very good. But in general, the translation is very bad. It's so literal, but so literal that sometimes you cannot understand what the characters are talking about. It is so literal that makes no sense at all. Controls. I'm using mouse and keyboard. They're slow and sometimes very unresponsive. Maybe playing this game with the joystick would be better. But in my humble opinion, this game is very, very sluggish. Sometimes your character takes too long to, you know, climb a, a, on a scenario, to grab an item on the floor, to reload your weapon. But you might say. You have an upgrade kit for your weaponry that will make things easier. Well, not really. And even if you spend points to upgrade your character, controls are still unresponsive. At least this is my experience playing with mouse and keyboard. Sometimes it takes too long to reload a weapon, to shoot, to grab an item, to hop over or to climb and fight, fighting many opponents makes things more difficult. Sometimes you have to swap your characters. You have to play with your partner. For example, each character has a different ability. Moira and Natalia are able to point out things in the scenario, hidden things. Natalia, for example, is able to see things that cannot be seen by normal characters, and she's able to unlock some chests. Moira is also able to unlock some chests, but she cannot use weaponry, not in the main store.
coming for you too? Come on, let's just get out of here. Claire, are you crying? No, I'm, I'm just learning to see a little more clearly. Another issue I would like to address, the boss fight, they are very boring, for example now you have to stimulate this boss to hit these barrels, so these barrels would explode, he will burn and you shoot him, but it takes too long and as I said before with the scarce ammunition it makes things more difficult. Maybe the main idea of the development of this game was to make things more uh, realistic. But this is Resident Evil, this is pure fiction, check this out. Claire was slammed to the wall and she is still okay. You just have to, to spray some herbs on your body and no, that's it. She just did that to take me off. I'm the one that drove us apart. I messed up real bad as a father. She and Polly were playing what I think is disappointing in, the, in this game guns. is that things and got very rush. exaggerated and an the Resident Evil series, at least uh, Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2, they are very very disappointing. The good old Resident Evil games are things that are uncomparable. Even the puzzles in this game, they are very uninteresting. Once upon a time, this must have been some kind of mine. Throw my back out if I try to lug this thing all the way to the elevator.
thing is huge. It's like one of those cranes you see in junkyards. This is the DLC. I've just captured Mora's adventure on the DLC because Natalia's adventure Fuck. is very, very boring. And both DLC, they add nothing to the game, to the story. All right, just a little bit. But nothing that would make you say, wow, how amazing. I spent my money to buy something good. No, you didn't. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Before sundown, island becomes more dangerous. That doesn't leave us a lot of time. When you have what you need, meet me by slope leading into forest. <coughs> I will check situation from above. <coughs> Be careful, Kroshka. Yeah, yeah. And the verdict. The graphics are good, the story is weak, the controls are slow, the sound is okay with good voice acting, but the game is very disappointing. Don't forget to share, like it and subscribe and leave your comments below. Thank you very much.